In this video, I'm going to show you how you can join data from two different layers when you don't have a common attribute field where you can join them like we do from uh, data from another table. You'll see I have here uh, facilities that are listed for the Denver Aurora urban area uh, with the toxics release inventory. And when I open up the attribute table, you can see that each of these dots on the map is a facility and we know where they are spatially, of course. We have the street address, uh, the, the latitude and longitude. But notice there is no FIPS value. There is no FIPS attribute that identifies which census tract, for example, that that facility is in. So in this case, we can't join this data um, from another table. What we have to do is join it uh, spatially. So you always want to join the data to your primary data set, which are the census tracts in this case. So you would right click on the census tracts, go to joins and relates, and do a spatial join. And what this is going to do is it's essentially going to ask every census tract in this data set to look up and count up the number of facilities above it. In most cases, that'll be zero, of course. The target feature are census tracts. The join features are our tri facilities. The output feature class, it's given it this automatic name. You can change that. Notice that it's trying to save it into the Play GeoDatabase, which is fine. Um, and then everything else can be left alone. Hit Run. And with the new data set that's created, if I open up its attribute table, you'll see what happened. Each one of these rows is a census tract. But notice now at the very beginning, there is a variable called join underscore count. And it's the number of facilities in each of these tracks. Most are zero. Here's one with four. Here's one with nine, and so on. It also, of course, if we scroll all the way to the right, summed up in no particular sense uh, the other variables that were in that particular tried data. Um, most of these don't make any sense other than, uh, for example, the total amount of emissions on and off site. So we can see here that here's a facility or a census tract that had 5,600 pounds of emissions total. So that's how you do a spatial join.